Another day had just begun, and the garden was coming to life. Down at the bottom of the garden, near the shed, was an old broken sundial nobody wanted. On the sundial was a ladybird. A ladybird with an unusual thought. I wonder, is it suppose his birthday today or tomorrow? The ladybird racked her brains for some time before deciding to ask the advice of one of the older creepy callers. Yes, I have had one or two birthdays and could be considered to be an expert on the subject. From what I've heard, Mr. Harrison, you've had more birthdays than anybody. I'm not sure what you're saying, Lady Bird. I have reached an age of maturity, but I'm still considered to be of sound mind and body. It's not yourself I'm worried about. It's suppose. Is his birthday today or tomorrow? Suppose. Birthday. Morning all. Oh, hello, suppose. So nice to see you. I wonder, should I be wishing you a happy birthday? Or is it a little early? Oh, no, that's perfectly correct, Lady Bird. So it's your birthday today. That's right. Oh, see, we, we thought it might be your birthday tomorrow. That is correct. Oh, dear, suppose. If it wasn't bad enough you having a birthday at all, now you tell us you have more than one. Oh, quite often. You know, suppose, I seem to remember you've told me this all before. I did, on Mr. Harrison's birthday. The day he got that surprise. Oh, yes, my string. A most superior present. What are you expecting for your birthday, I suppose? Oh, I never get presents, Mr. H. Never get presents? Oh, that is a shame. Oh, yes. My heart leaves. You will be having a party, though, won't you? I suppose I will. Like I always do. Behind the sundial on my own. But that's not a party. Isn't it? No. You should spend your birthdays with the others, enjoying yourself. In fact, that's just what's going to happen. You leave it to me. I'll organize it. Well, what will you organize, Lady Bird? The best birthday party ever. All your friends will be there. Oh, not a big gathering then. There'll be jam for all. And entertainment. Who's going to supply this entertainment anyway? All of us will. All of us? Yes. Yourself included, Mr. Harrison. Then I am your snail. Oh, Mr. Harrison, that's wonderful. I'll go and organize the others. This is going to be the best party the gardener's ever seen. I shall prepare myself for my performance. <clears throat> I... I die. I shall have a sleep. I'm finding this birthday just a little bit too strenuous. That's it, Harry, Annie. Right. Right. Pull it this way a little more. Oh, yes, that's wonderful. I could add some broken bits of wood and, and torn paper if that's any good. Yeah, I think that's fine as it is. One, two, is this what you want to see our thing, Ladybird? Just white, Lambert. One, Thank you. Two, what, what is it for, Lambert? I can't say, I'm sure Harry had me. But they always has them have birthdays, apparently. Suppose as to blow them out. One, two, that's what Ladybird three. says. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, blew them out of the garden? I suppose so. Can't see what else she means. Come on, everyone. All gather round. That's it. Now, if you're all ready to say what I taught you. One, two, three. Yeah, happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday, dear Spills. Happy birthday to you. you. You know, that don't sound right to me somehow, Ladybird. I know, Lambeth. But I just can't think mm. what's wrong. Never mind. Welcome to the party, suppose. Well, thank you all very much. This is most kind. I, I don't know what to say. Oh, come on, suppose. You must think of something. Just thank you. And where's the jam? If it wasn't his party, I'd have never invited him. He just lowers the tone by being here. Come on, suppose. There's jam for you. And the best position, too. So you can watch the entertainment. Quiet now, everyone. Quiet, please. We are gathered here today to say happy birthday for all the ones we have missed along the way. I had four last week. Besides the gathering and the supplying of jam, some from private stores, I might add, we also have 
entertainer. Uh, First uh, on is the woodlouse. Pillbug, please, Mr. Harrison. Who will roll into a ball in a funny manner. Right. Hey. Poor old Hanarak. Why did the pillbug cross the sundial? I don't know. Why did the pillbug cross the sundial? To get to the other side. <laughs> oh, it's really what do you think? What do you think? Did you know that I have a runny nose and feet that smell? <laughs> I'm built upside down. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I say, I say, I say. Yes, well, I think that's enough of that. But I have plenty more. Save them for the next birthday. Yes, Mr. Harris. Next, we have our own very good friend, Harry Adney. The spider. Hey. Oh, thank you, thank hey. you so much. Thank you. I would like to give you a small recitation I have learned. In fact, it's a poem I found a little while ago in the um, garden. It's called Ingredients. <clears throat> Beans, water, tomatoes, sugar, salt, Modified starch, spirit vinegar, spices. Oh, that was quite yeah. 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 There's more, yeah. more. <clears throat> to serve, empty contents into a saucepan and stir gently while heating. Do not. Well, do not what? Well, that's it. Do not. I'm afraid the paper it was written on was torn at that point, and there was no more. Oh, well, if there's no more, then that's that. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, we shall we shall we Next, we have a well-known beetle who suffers the disability of having lost his brain at a very early age. Oh. But he has struggled on to become what he is today. Much taller. <laughs> Without further ado, let me introduce you to Lambeth. Oh, let's hear Ta -da. it. Let's hear it. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Ta-da! Well, our little entertainment is almost over, except for one thing. I would like to call upon our very, very good friend, the Caterpillar, to present the <clears throat> present. Yeah, what? What was that? What? Ancient, you have to give suppose his present. All right, all right. No need to shout. Why does it always have to be noise? Always noise. Well then, young worm, another birthday, eh? Yes. Thank you, Ancient. Uh, personally, I suppose, I think you have too many birthdays. Uh, I think it would be a good idea to cut down on them in future. Doesn't do to be too greedy. Hmm. Suppose you're right. Anyway, that's by the by. Happy birthday, young fellow, from all of us. But that's... Mr. Harrison's piece of string. Was, do you suppose? Was. Mr. Harrison insisted you have it, suppose. Well, thank you, Mr. Harrison. That's very kind. I've never had a present before. It's wonderful. Just about the best present anyone could get on the best birthday anyone could have. Thank you, all my very good friends, the Creepy Crawlies. And so, with the very best day anyone could have, coming to an end. All the creepy crawlies sat down to watch the sun go down. Beyond the old broken sundial, nobody wanted.